Welcome back to another episode. So today I want to introduce you and talk to you about 10 free WordPress plugins that I believe every website would benefit from using. All right, so I'm here on my local host and I just wanted to show you the 10 plugins that I recommend people use. So I'm going to go back to the plugin section. I already installed them and I'll just walk you through each of them real quick. So these are the 10 plugins in alphabetical order. And the first one is the Black Studio Tiny MCE Widget Plugin. Now what this does, it adds a new visual editor to your widget section, which is similar to the editor you have on your post or pages uh, when you're creating your, your content. The beauty of this is that instead of having to use the standard text widget where you would have to, you know, use your HTML tags and things of that nature in order to get the um, the presentation you want for your content in the widget areas, you could just use this one. So if you want to look at the details, we can do that here and you can see how amazing this is. It's installed on a lot of websites, over 900,000 plus. It's five star reviews. It is actively maintained. It's a great plugin. Let me just show you how it works real quick. Uh, if you go to appearance and widgets, if you, if you go to add a text widget, let's just add this here. You see that you have your basic title and your basic content area, but you don't have any way to format this except for this automatically add paragraphs. You could use HTML tags and that's fine if you know HTML, but if you don't, you're kind of stuck, right? So what are your other options? Well, with that Black Studio um, plugin, you get this new visual editor a widget right here that you can drag into your sidebar or whatever widget area you want to connect it to. And now you get a more enhanced version of that simplified text widget. You can still add the title, but now you can add media. You can, you know, format your content that you want to put in here without having to know the HTML. You could still add HTML if you want um, by going into the text option here, but the visual side works just the same way as it would in your post and pages. It's a great plugin. I definitely recommend it. Let's go back to the plugin section, to the installed plugins. Now the next one is the Easy Updates Manager. I did a video on this one and I did it because we've all heard about how many websites have just been defaced because they weren't updated to the latest version of WordPress. And so WordPress is secure as long as it's up to date. That's where this plugin comes in. Easy Updates Manager. You set it up and you configure it to, you know, uh, update your core files, your plugins, your themes, automatic updates. It works on multi-site, you know, has login features. It automates the process for you. So that way, if you don't log into your website every day and there's a new update that takes place that you forget to install yourself, it'll do it for you. So definitely install this one. I think this is one of the top plugins that you should be using uh, to update your website. So now the next one that we're going to um, talk about is contact forms. You're going to want to be able to have people uh, communicate with you online, right? So if a person comes to your website and they like what they see and they want to touch base with you, you need a contact form. So this is a very simple to use um, contact form right here, fast secure contact form. And in its name, it says secure, and it actually is very secure. Uh, if you uh, have people visiting your site, they'll be able to fill out a form and you'll be able to receive that. And just looking at the details, this is what you get. It's, you see it's five-star reviews. It's installed on a lot of websites. It's uh, just recently updated. It's really a good, a good plugin. It's simple, it's easy, it's free. Definitely check it out. I failed to actually show you the details for Easy Updates Manager too, so let me do that real quick before I move on. Here you see it's active on over 100,000 installs. It's been updated three days ago and very popular as well. Updates everything that you needed to update and you can still manually update stuff if you want. You can toggle the features on or off, so definitely check that out. All right, the next one is a security plugin. So I think security uh, is one of the most well-known plugins out there. It has a lot of features that will help you protect your website. It's very popular. It's installed on a lot of 
sites, um, over 800,000 plus, got amazing reviews, updated recently, has a lot of features that you need, you know, to protect your, your websites. It has a pro version as well, um, but the free version does, you know, what you need. It protects your site from the uh, attacks that happen on a daily basis. So this is one of those plugins you definitely need. All right, so moving on to the next one, simple social icons. You want people to connect with you. You want people to come to your website, and then you want them to see where you are elsewhere online. They say it takes seven points of contact before you can be embedded in a person's mind. So that's why you want them knowing your site, then you want them connecting with you on social media. Simple social icons, great plugin. It's simple, easy to use, um, and it gives you the... Uh, the types of uh, connection, uh, social media connections that you need. These are the services it includes. So you, as you can see, it supports the most popular uh, social media platforms. It's installed on a bunch of websites and it has amazing reviews. Definitely check it out. All right, so WordFriend Security needs no introduction. They do a phenomenal job protecting websites all over. They are one of the most highly rated security plugins, active on over 1 million installations. Look at these five-star reviews. Unbelievable. They have a pro version as well, but the free version um, sets you up with a firewall and a lot of features that you will definitely benefit from once configured. It's you know definitely one of those plugins you should have installed on your site. Next one is we're going into the cache section of the the this format. Um, WP fastest cache. It's really one of those plugins that makes it really easy. It doesn't have a million features. It doesn't do a million things. It doesn't you know confuse you with too many settings. It's a very simple uh, plugin to install with just a few options to check off and then you are good to go. You know, this is one of the fastest uh, cache plugins to use. And as you can see, very popular. Updated just within the past four hours. Uh, five star reviews, a lot of active installations, and it shows you what you can do with it. It's unbelievable. Minify the HTML, minify CSS, enable gzip compression, leverage browser caching, combine CSS and combine uh, JavaScript. That shows you, you know, that it's giving you the vast majority of what you need for your website to perform well. Staying on the same theme of optimization and performance, WP Smush. So this plugin optimizes and your and compresses your images. If an image is too large in terms of the file size, not the dim dimensions matter too because that'll increase the file size, but if the if the file size itself is too large, it'll slow down the process of your website or web page loading in a browser. That will lead to a poor user experience. Uh, WP Smush is um is uh the Smush image compression and optimization plugin is a amazing plugin that reduces the file size and as you can see five star reviews are uh, very uh, very popular uh, on a lot of different websites 600,000 plus and it does what you need to compress your images very important for performance then we have our database you know databases tend to get full of information a lot of them are transients, a lot of them are, you know, temporary information stuff, you know, remnants of um, things that you no longer need within your database. So you need to optimize your database. And there's a bunch of ways to do that. If you know how to work manually with a database, it's always the best because you can do things manually. Uh, but you got to be very careful. So that's why I like using a plugin like WP Sweep that will optimize your database and remove um, unnecessary things. And this is the uh, what it does. It cleans up revisions, auto drafts, deleted comments, and approved comments, spam comments. You know, these are the things that it will take care of for you. You know, it's really popular. It's one of the uh, best plugins in its category, and it's well maintained. So I definitely recommend it. Now we're going on to search engine optimization. And Yoast SEO needs no introduction. It's a great plugin. It is one of the uh, top plugins in its f field 
uh, for search engine optimization. Extremely popular. One million plus websites, five star reviews, and a lot of people are leaving reviews. I mean, look at this. I don't see that many plugins that have this many reviews. So it's definitely one of those that you should have on your top 10 list in terms of WordPress plugins to use. It's uh, very easy to set up. They have great documentation. Uh, the community behind it, the developers behind it, you know, are actively maintaining it. So it gives you all the functionality you need. It can help you with your XML sitemaps. It helps you with your meta descriptions. It even helps you grade the quality of your content. So it lets you know. Red light means your content needs help. Yellow light, you're kind of getting there. Green light, you're good to go. So definitely check out Yoast SEO. All right, so that completes this top 10 list right here. But the, wait, wait, I'm looking at this list now. And man, I'm missing something. What am I missing? Ah, the most important thing of all, backing up your website. All right, so I'm kind of cheating here. You know, I wanted to do a top 10 list. And doing a top 10 list is tough, right? Because then that means you have to exclude you know, certain items from your list. And I don't know how I could exclude this one because this is, you know, Black Studio Tiny MC is a, an amazing one. Um, this is extremely important. You gotta, people got to communicate with you. They got to get in contact. You need security. Social media is extremely important nowadays. Um, you know, security again, performance online, performance online, performance for your database and your online speed. Um, and your search engine optimization. So I really couldn't eliminate any of these. Consider this an extra. All right, so this is an extremely popular plugin for backing up your, your files. Uh, it's uh, actively installed on over 1 million plus websites. As you can see, five-star reviews. Unbelievable. I mean, look at that. A lot of people really are enjoying this. I mean, the, the feature set it has is like literally seems to be second to none. I mean, we're talking about professional features here in a free plugin. You can, you have support for a bunch of different types of platforms to send it to. Google Drive, I believe it has Dropbox as well, FTP, SSL. I mean, you really have a lot of options here and it automates the process for you. It's really, really good. They do have a pro version as well, so check that out. But this one definitely should be on your list of, um, plugins to have on your site. All right, so that was, this was the top 10 plus one uh, plugins that you should be using on your WordPress powered website. And you know, I'm gonna just cheat and install this right here. So it's installing it now over here and I'll just take you back to the plugin section to give you a recap of what the plugin names are. All right, so going back now, here we are, Black Studio Tiny MCE, Easy Updates Manager, Fast Secure Contact Form, iTheme Security, Simple Social Icons, Updraft Plus, Word Fence Security, WP Fastest Cache, WP Smush, WP Sweep, and Yoast SEO. These are the top 10 plus one uh, plugins that you should be using to power and protect and secure and optimize and back up your website. I mean, this gives you all the functionality you need in order to have a great website. Of course, there's more. I mean, obviously I can make this a top 20 list. I had another video I did, 12 plugins that you should be using. You know, these list type videos are tough to do because it's tough to eliminate one from another, you know, to choose one from another. But this is the top 10 plus one plugins you should be using on your website. And there are other ones for like image opti image display functionality, like sliders and galleries, stuff like that. But not every website need, needs that. These plugins, I believe every website needs. Who doesn't need security? Who doesn't need social media connection? Who doesn't need a contact form? Who doesn't need optimization and backups and things of that nature? Everybody needs this. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed this video where I covered uh, the top WordPress plugins that you should be using to power your website. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up um, and don't forget to subscribe because I'll be creating more videos 
uh, in the future to help you manage your WordPress powered website. This is the type of stuff that I'll walk you through the configuration, the settings, you know, going through what each um, option does and what makes sense and what doesn't. Because sometimes you find options that are just overkill and other times you need it. All right, so that's what these videos are for. So again, if you liked it, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Take care.